Boys, it's fall, which means it's boot season, which means it's sexy season for dudes because you're about to grow two inches and women are gonna find you attractive. But if you're wearing boots wrong, you're gonna throw away all that sexiness, all that potential because you didn't style them properly. Now boots, it's probably one of my favorite forms of footwear and I've told you why so many times and today I just wanna show you how to use them properly because every single fall, I see so many guys incorrectly using this amazing footwear option. Today, boys, I'm going to show you the six ways men are wearing boots wrong and what you should be avoiding. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, the tucked in boot. Tucking in your jeans into your boot is probably the most tackiest thing you can do. It's so 2005, you ruin the aesthetic of the outfit. And your boot is high, you want the denim to cover at least the top part of your boot. What this creates is this uninterrupted, sleek silhouette, which is what you're always going for in every outfit you create. I've talked about it multiple times. And what it does is, for the eyes, it's more aesthetically pleasing than just stuffing your jeans into your boots and having your boots all loose. This, in my opinion, looks tacky. I'm sure all of us have done it, including me in the past. Number two, pairing boots with boot cut jeans. Look, the name, the name boot cut jeans, it's not a prescription on how you should be wearing boots whatsoever. Screw that name. And whoever the idiot was that decided or thought that it was a good idea to bell shape their jeans to allow room for boots well he honestly he he he, he deserves the worst like i mentioned previously slim jeans actually look the best on on boots and when you get the best styling out of it slim cut in my opinion is the best option where again you get that perfectly proportional leg that makes your leg look longer and gives you that height advantage and overall makes you look more attractive number three not wearing the right boot for the right occasion. You gotta understand that boots are just like sneakers and dress shoes. You shouldn't wear one style of sneaker, one style of dress shoe for every occasion in your life. Or for a matter of fact, for every season in your life. For example, if you have a pair of chukka boots or Judpur boots, while these are sexy boots, you gotta understand that these aren't all weather style boots and are also more formal boots that look better in formal situations as opposed to combat boots, which are perfect for colder days because it protects you from the low temperatures. It also usually has better grip and traction for when you walk and it looks more rugged and better on casual situations. Which, by the way, these combat style boots I have been freaking loving lately and you probably have noticed because they've been in a lot of my pictures on Instagram and even here on YouTube and a lot of my videos. These are from Thursday Boots, our sponsor for today. And the reason why, I feel like, honestly, it's like the new wave in my wardrobe. Combat style boots is all I've been wearing and probably the thing that I'm most excited for this season. And the reason for it is because the aesthetic that it gives you is of such a badass. It gives you height and it's completely different than every other boot. Like Chelsea boots are so dead in my opinion at this point. Like I'm tired of seeing them. Combat boots, not a lot of people are wearing them and it gives you a very similar rugged aesthetic and it's perfect for fall and winter. And since these are from Thursday boots, which you've heard me talk about before, the quality on these is superb. They're made with high quality leather so they look really nice as you wear them in and they're comfortable to walk in. This is a major selling point for Thursday boot that I love. Since they're Goodyear welted, the cork bed insole fuses to your foot and makes it so comfortable to walk in. Not to mention these combat boots are using a vibrant sole which again you can throw these on, wear them all day and your feet aren't going to be tired. This is why I like Thursday boots and why honestly I think I'm not even going to exaggerate right now about 95% of my shoe collection when it comes to boots, they're Thursday boots. Just because they look awesome and Thursday boots has everything from your chukka boot to your Chelsea boot to your combat boot to your hiking boot to your workwear style boot. They have every type of style of boot that looks good on men. They have it at a good price and built amazing. If you buy a pair of, of Thursday boots, I promise you, they're gonna last you a minimum. And I'm speaking from experience, four to five years. And if you've never checked them out, I'm gonna suggest you guys click that link down below and look at all their collection. I promise you, just pick up one pair. Like, they're gonna sell themselves. You pick up one pair, wear them, try them out, look at their styling, how comfortable they are and how long they last, I promise you, you're gonna buy more. Like, that's what happened to me. I got one pair and then I just got hooked from there on. So boys, if you guys wanna check out Thursday Boots and see what a handmade boot really feels like, that's quality and stylish, don't waste any time. Winter's like right here, boys. You need this pair now. Number four, wearing boots all loose. This is probably the most unfunctional, unstructured, and most 
inconvenient way to wear this type of shoe. The whole purpose of boots is to add ankle support and protection from the weather. Loosely tied boots not only can be a hazard since you just removed all sorts of ankle support, but also you walk like a retard because your boots are so loose that they're falling off every time you take a step. And then on top of that, your ankles are out here getting ashy because it's freezing cold and you decided to not tie your boots properly. Number five, too much excess lacing. So when it comes to boots, especially combat boots or hiking boots, there's a lot of lacing that comes in to wrap up all the way to the ankle. Now, to ensure that you're not, you don't have a lot of laces hanging out and makes your boots look funny, there are two options you got. You can either A, wrap the boot up all the way to the top, which is uncomfortable to both put on and also take off, but your second option is to just wrap around the excess lacing around the ankle itself. What this does is this ensures that, unlike the, the previous step, the boot itself remains tight around your ankle, but also removes a lot of that excess lacing from flopping around and keeps it all nice and tight. Finally, number six, wearing cowboy boots or any other type of boot that's just outdated and unesthetic. Boys, like I just mentioned, Thursday Boots has every type of style of boot that is trending and classic. A boot that will never go out of style and you can wear multiple seasons. And I'm telling you this because well, I've done it myself. That's the type of boot you want to buy. You want to do your research and find boots that aren't outdated or will make you look tacky. Boots like your combat boot, your Jotper boot, your Chucka boot. These are classics that have been around for decades and you have nothing to worry about three years from now when you're still wearing them you're still gonna look good. And that's it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Thursday Boots. They're gonna be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.